I hope you're well. So, first of all, I'd like to do something special for you tonight. Um, primarily focusing on something that most of us deal with every day. Stress, anger, frustration. I know that just the thought of dropping off my kid at school in the mornings slightly spikes my blood pressure. And if any of you are parents and you have any idea what that's like, well, we won't go there. So, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to start by cleansing your aura, your energy field, using a little bit of Palo Santo. And then we're going to reinforce that with some clear quartz. After that, we'll insert the Reiki energy healing. But one more thing that I'd like to do today is a practice that I'd like you to cooperate with. Um, unless you're asleep by then, then don't worry about it. But it's something that I learned that has helped me deal with my anger tremendously. And I learned this from a yogi master who spends most of his time meditating in the Himalayas. Um, so, without further ado, I would say that it's a beautiful day to heal. So let's get started. First off, you're going to need to relax yourself. Just taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. That's it. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Take in one more. In through the nose. Something that I don't know if I've mentioned in my previous videos is how important it is to breathe correctly. Now, a lot of the times, many of us have a habit of breathing into our chest, into our shoulders. And when you do that for years and years and years, it actually puts stress on your intercostals, puts stress all around here, and you don't want that. When you breathe, that air needs to be going in, down into the pit of your stomach. So just imagine filling up your entire belly with air. And then, once you can't fill it up anymore, then you can allow your chest to start to fill up. Almost like you're filling up a glass, right? The, the liquid's always going to hit the bottom first, and then it's just going to come right up. So that's how you need to do that. So let's try that again. So when you breathe in, deep breath in, See, I went straight into the pit of my belly, and then it started to expand into my chest. I'm not breathing into my shoulders, so try to focus on always breathing into the pit of your stomach first, and then allowing it to fill up into your chest. And when you exhale, don't force it out, unless you're doing a breathing exercise. But if you're just trying to put your mind and body into a relaxed state, after you breathe in and you hold for a second or two, just relax that air out naturally. So, enough on that lesson. Let's start by lighting up a little bit of Palo Santo for you. And I know some people like to see the lighting of the Palo Santo. Teach us on. If you want to see it, I'll show you. Here we are. And we're just going to let that burn. And let's go ahead and start at the crown, right here, down to your third eye, your throat chakra, to your heart, your solar plexus. A lot of people tend to hold a lot of stress there. The sacral just below the navel, and then finally the root. All right, just relax that all around your aura. A 
some people like to blow on the Palo Santo to keep it burning. So, to some this is okay. In Native American practice, this can be considered not so okay. The reason being is because, well, what I was taught is that uh, the belief is that you're blowing your spirit away. And you don't want that. I think um, when it comes to traditions, um, especially when you're using those, you're practicing those traditions amongst others, um, I think it's important to respect it. But I also believe that you should listen to your intuition. Um, and the way that you do things does matter. So if you do blow on the Palo Santo, you have nothing else, right, to get it to keep burning a little bit. I think a light blow is okay. But that's my personal opinion. You don't have to take it from me. So let's just give you a little bit more of that cleansing. I want to release everything that you have built up here in your stomach, right? Just release that out with every exhale that you take. anger especially a lot of that energy is stored in the liver and that's unhealthy it can lead to all kinds of complications with the liver so you want to release that you don't want to hold that in all right so before we start using the clear cords what you can do is take your hands and just put them like this together bring your attention to your breath And just start to feel a little bit of resistance between your hands here. If you're very sensitive, then you'll feel it. If not, try rubbing your hands together. Right? And then, after a short while, stop. Bring them close to each other. And you might feel somewhat of a magnetic feeling between your hands. I like to kind of just play with that a little bit and then once you feel that it could feel like heat tingling like a magnet feeling it might feel cold whatever you feel that's fine and then bring that right below your diaphragm and place your hands right here that's right over the solar plexus chakra and just Pay attention to your breathing. You might feel some warmth. Let your body take that in. Allow your mind and body to relax and just accept the healing that you give to yourself. If you're at work or at school or at home and you're frustrated or angry, take two, three minutes just to do this. I guarantee you, you'll notice a difference for the better. And always come back to the breath. Very important. Now while you're doing that, <laughs> or if you'd like, you can relax your hands. I'm going to start up at your crown with some clear quartz. going to be clearing that clogged up energy just release that out release it out from the ground you don't need it there this way the energy can flow smoothly coming down right from the heavens or coming up from mother earth in this direction I'm going to pull 
just on a slight energy cord from this area. I'm just going to pull that out so you might feel a sensation right here. The third eye, or the brow chakra, as some refer to it. And I'm just going to start pulling on that. Just release that as you exhale. Breathe in. And just let it out. All right, cut that off. Okay, right at the throat area. And you can relax, you don't need to move or adjust your head at all. You're fine. Just be chill. And just running the clear cords all around the throat chakra area, right around here. Excellent. Now down to your heart. Alright, I'm going to be putting one of the Reiki symbols into your heart chakra. Chukure, chukure, chukure. And just relax. Allow it to go in to the chest right here. Okay. And now down to your solar plexus. It's achy, it's achy, it's achy. Right in there. And that's to help with your emotional healing. Just relax. And there is going to be one more cord that I want to pull from there. We're going to remove that right now. All right, so placing my hand right at the solar plexus chakra. I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale slowly. Okay, another deep breath in. And exhale. Let it out. down to your sacral area. And just touching right at the root. The root is very important. Okay. This has to do with survival. Trust. Right? That part of your entire system must be open in order for you to be grounded. Okay? So going to be using the grounding symbol. Rick, rick, rick. Down into the root area. And just relax. Allow yourself to take that in. Bring your attention back to the breath. And just relax. Now for those of you that might already be sleeping or falling asleep, if you're not following along, about it. You can always watch this again another time. Okay. So, I'm going to be sending some of that healing over to the crown. And there's already a very noticeable vibration over the crown area. Just above the forehead as well. Which is good. This basically indicates an increase in vitality. And then down to the third eye right here. Now placing my other hand on the side of your head. Focus on the breath, but don't focus too hard. Just bringing your awareness to the breathing is what you need to do. Okay, we're going down to the throat chakra. And you're always welcome to place your hands around the throat area. I prefer to do it like this. 
right? Some people prefer to do it around like this. It's perfectly fine. I wouldn't, not too tight. You don't need to squeeze, just, just relax like this. So just right there. Now down to the heart. I'm keeping one hand on my heart and the other on yours. <clears throat> Just to allow that transferring of positive loving energy onto you. Breathe. And relax. Breathe. And relax. Down to your sacral. Of your energy centers to be open to the flying of the loving energy, to the healing energy. Because it is a beautiful day to heal, ladies and gentlemen. Breathe. All right. So allowing that energy to flow from other earth upwards, or if you prefer, from the heavens down into the earth. There is a purpose to each, but I'll explain that in another video. Now, I promised you a technique that can help with anger or stress. Um, a lot of times, anger and frustration go hand in hand. So, the way that you're going to do this, basically, is best to be sitting down upright position, of course, with a straight posture, straight spine, but relaxed at the same time. You don't want to be stiff. So the way that we're going to do this is <clears throat> you're going to breathe in, you're going to hold the breath, and I'm going to give you a countdown. All right. Now, I would advise to start when you start doing this on your own. I would advise that you start doing this at a low number if you're not used to a higher number. I typically start counting down from 50 or 60, the second time 80 or 90, and the third time maybe 100 to 110 seconds or so. But when I first started, I started like at 20, 20 to 30, I want to say. So if you're a beginner, start for what's right with you. Now the other important factor to remember is you want to count downwards, right? Not from one up, but from whatever number you set down. All right. So let's start at a simple 15 seconds. All right. And if that's too much, please feel free to pause the video and start at something less. So we'll get started here. Um, fun fact about this shirt that I'm wearing. <clears throat> if you do follow my channel, you might notice the picture that I have. I'm actually wearing this shirt. <laughs> I haven't worn it in a really long time. This Captain America shirt is one of my favorites, but that's the shirt I'm wearing in my picture, and I actually haven't changed that since I started this channel. All right, enough about me. Let's focus on you. So, relaxed, 
loose but straight spine. Close your eyes, it helps. And you're gonna take a deep breath in and you're gonna hold it. And I'm gonna count you down starting from 15. Ready? Breathe in and hold. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and exhale, let it out, just let it out, you're releasing your day, you're releasing your stress, your worry, your anger, whatever it is, somebody cut you off on the road, somebody raised their voice at you, somebody made you feel inadequate, let that out, all right, regular breathing, and then we're going to go ahead and up that time. The idea is to do this three times and each time increasing a little bit more. So for this second time, we're going to go up to 25. Ready? Deep breath in and hold. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let it out. Just let it out. Stop holding it in. All right? And I'm talking about your stress. Now at this point, you might feel a little bit lightheaded. It's going to feel pretty good. I like it, personally. Um, if for any reason you find yourself feeling a little bit nauseous or uncoordinated, then please go ahead and feel free to stop at this point. Um, do not practice this while driving or in a pool or in a bath. I should have mentioned that before, but yeah, don't do it. All right, we're gonna increase this. If you're ready, I'm gonna kick it up a notch. We're going to 40, all right? So just bring your attention to your breathing in and out. And if you're not ready for it, don't do it. But if you're up to, if you're up to the challenge, then let's make it happen. Ready? And deep breath in. Hold. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let it out. Take a moment to just be with yourself now. Allow your awareness to feel whatever you're feeling. Do you feel like there's a release? Maybe a little lightheaded? Can you feel the temperature on your skin? Maybe within you. I guarantee you, as you practice this and you increase the amount little at a time, it will not fail you. But it's important to remind yourself that you breathe in correctly, just as I explained at the beginning of the video. All right? So, that's going to be it for me. Um, other than that, 
If you have any questions or any particular requests, please feel free to drop that in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed it or if you fell asleep, then give it a thumbs up in the morning and uh, subscribe for more content. All right. Have yourself a very good day and stay healthy. Adios.